Now, why if I told you that one of Leica's sharpest lenses is also one of the cheapest ones that you can get? Today, we're going to talk about the Leica 28mm f2.8 Elmerit V1. Now, let me get this out of the way. This lens is insanely sharp. I mean, look at the subject separation. Yeah, it's at f2.8, and this image is shot wide open at minimum focus distance. Look at the smooth, smooth bokeh that you get from this lens. Really, really amazing for the price. I'm not saying it's a budget lens. A Leica is not meant for value for money. And this is the V1. I haven't tried the V2, so I'm not going to do any comparisons on it. I don't like to compare lenses if I don't have them in my hands. I don't want to comment on anything if I haven't tried it yet. But yeah, look at these. It's amazing. Separation, bokeh, sharpness from corner to corner. I have no complaints about this lens. Well, I sort of do, but then it's not what this lens is meant for. So this lens is great if you're shooting outdoors in the middle of the day, probably even late afternoon or early evening where there's plenty of light. It has a maximum aperture of f2.8. If you're shooting a lot at night, if you're shooting a lot in low light conditions or even indoors, you might struggle a bit. You might also struggle if you're trying to shoot film where you can't really crank the ISO. Now let's get to the build quality of the lens. As for Leica standards, this lens is very well built. The aperture ring, although clicky, can feel a bit sloppy. The lens being this small, the focus ring is really, really thin, so I don't think it's meant for two finger focusing like so. You're meant to use the focus tab to do your focusing. If you're trying to use two fingers to focus, you might actually change the aperture, so you might want to pay attention to that. It comes with a plastic lens hood. It also comes with a blanking ring. Where did I put it? Ah, anyways. Now, if you remove this lens hood, this is the size of the lens. It's tiny, it's very, very well balanced on the Leica M11. Now let's talk about image quality. Corner to corner sharpness is amazing. The V2 is meant to be even sharper in the corners. So yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on that to show you guys what it's about. Now this lens isn't the cheapest out there. Like a native lens doesn't really scream value for money. There are quite a few options out there when we're talking about lenses at this price range. The Type Oxymera, the Voigtland, the Nocton, both amazing lenses at a much lower price and then Light Lens Lab has a 28mm f2.8 in their pipeline, which I'm very, very excited about. So Light Lens Lab, get on with it, release the lens. I can't wait for it. Now, trying out this lens has made me curious about how the Summicron, the Summilux will perform. I'm hoping to get my hands on those really, really soon make a video comparing it with this lens. I can't imagine them being much sharper than this lens, although I'm hoping to be proven wrong. So is it worth the money? Somewhere along the way, I've decided that I want three lenses for my Leica system. Maybe two. The 28, the 50, and possibly the 90. This is probably one of the lenses at the top of my list until I try the Summicron, until I try the Summilux. I don't think I'll be going for the Summilux because of the size and the weight, but I might decide that the Summicron is the sweet spot. But will it be worth that much more than the Elmer? So I'm leaving you guys with a few more sample images. There's not much I can say about this lens. So yeah, if you found this video helpful, I'll really appreciate it if you give me a subscribe, comment down below on what you want to see next. See you in the next one.